Well, turning now to U.S. law enforcement targeting a Putin ally. Federal agents raiding the homes of a billionaire Russian oligarch here and questions about the sudden death of a top Russian oil company executive who went against the Kremlin's line on the Ukraine war. ABC's James, James Longman has more. The FBI and Homeland Security turning up the heat on ultra-wealthy Russian oligarchs connected to President Vladimir Putin. Agents searching the New York City apartment and a Hamptons home associated with Russian billionaire Viktor Vexelberg on Thursday. All part of a Justice Department task force which is charged with finding assets, like these planes and yachts, of oligarchs trying to evade sanctions over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Vexelberg's $90 million yacht was seized in April. Meantime, in Russia, the sudden death of another powerful Russian businessman is making headlines. Russian media reporting Luke Oil executive Ravil Maganov fell from a six-story hospital window. This is one of many cases involving executives in the energy sector, which is very tightly regulated by the Kremlin. Maganov, who's seen here with Putin, is the second Luke Oil executive to die in the last few months. The company has been critical of the Russian invasion into Ukraine. This is the eighth high-powered Russian businessman to die suddenly since January, many of them with links to the oil and gas sector. It seems that even though a lot of Russian oligarchs are not happy about the war, they are too scared to speak up because they fear for their very lives. Russian media is reporting that Maganov was admitted to the hospital with a heart complaint, started acting suspiciously and then threw himself out of the window. But eight high-powered executives dead in the last year? That's also a little suspicious. James Longman, ABC News in London.